Good morning children. Have you ever wondered how does it rain or what causes rain? Before this, first let us understand the two processes evaporation and condensation. You have seen in your kitchen that when your mother boils water it changes into steam or water vapor. This changing of water into water vapor or steam is called evaporation. Have you observed a puddle of water dries by itself after few days? What causes it to dry up? Is it a magic? No. Due to the heat of sun, the evaporation from all the water bodies like sea, river, lake and even puddle of water etc goes on all the time and hence the puddle of water eventually dries up. Do you know why the wet cloths dry faster in the summer season than the winter season? It's because the evaporation is faster due to the high temperature during summer. Let us do another small experiment. Take two wet towels. Make two folds of the first towel. Hang both the towels on a cloth line to dry in the sunlight. Which towel will dry faster and why? The folded towel takes longer time to dry. The second towel which was unfolded and stretched properly on the cloth line dries faster because larger area is exposed for evaporation and hence evaporation is faster. Now we will understand the second process. If you cover the boiling water with the lid, you will observe tiny droplets of water on the inner surface of the lid. Why does this happen? The steam or water vapor due to the boiling water cools down and changes into tiny droplets of water. This process is called condensation. Condensation is just the opposite of evaporation. Like in the case of water vapor from the boiling water changing into droplets of water on cooling, the same thing happens to the water evaporated from the various bodies. This water vapor rises up into the sky. It meets the cool air. Then the water vapor becomes cold and changes into water droplets. The water droplets keep collecting to form clouds. But when there is too much collection of water droplets in the clouds, the clouds become heavy. This means the cloud can no longer hold this much amount of water. And the water starts to fall back in the form of rain. So we see both the evaporation and condensation result in the rainfall. That was the tireless journey which water continues to make endlessly. This is called water cycle. The water cycle is the journey water takes as it circulates from the land to the sky and back again to the land. Kids, now your special friend Dragonfly will show you the very special journey of the water. The sun plays an important role in this journey. The sun's heat evaporates water from the earth's surface. The water vapor rises up and eventually condenses, forming tiny droplets of water in the clouds. When the clouds become heavy and are not able to hold more, they fall as rain and fill up the oceans, rivers, lakes, ponds with water. Water again evaporates from this water bodies and the cycle of water continues. That was all for today. Bye bye kids.